Hi everyone, I am your student teacher, Ms. Tullius. I am excited to be here working with you even though we're not here. We're socially distanced, but it's okay. We're gonna get through this. Uh, I know it has been a while and I only got maybe four or five days with you, but I'm still here to help and I'm really excited to. I kind of get the teacher and student perspective on things because I'm a university student right now while I teach you as I become a teacher. So I still have my own online assignments that I'm doing as well as the teacher part for you. Some art fell. Anyway, this is our makeshift classroom. Hi, welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about a new time signature, and that is six, eight. Right there and then. So, six, eight, what does it mean? Some of you might be more familiar with this, maybe not some others. So let's look at some other ones, maybe like four, four first and two four. So I think we've kind of talked about in the past what these numbers mean. So there's a top number and a bottom number. So for example, two four, that means there are two quarter notes in a measure. The top number means how many of what are there and bottom number means what kind of note is it. So four would be quarter note and eight would be an eighth note. Now, so two quarters, four quarters, and the six and the eight means that there would be six eighth notes in a single measure. Now, what does this look like? So you might be like, all right, I know, gorgeous drawing, right? Bam, we'll just bar that off. That's a measure, six eighth notes, right? Right, kind of, but that's not what it's gonna look like. What it's really gonna look like is that these are gonna be barred or tied together. So what you're really gonna see, to make it more simple for you really, I know, gorgeous, I'm so sorry, <laughs> is six of these eighth notes barred together in groups of three. So you have a beat one and a beat two, look at it like that. But we'll talk about that kind of structure more so next week. Today, how we're gonna really count these is one, two, three, let's make this a big one we're really gonna stress that downbeat. So we'll make this one, I know it's so big, two, three, and then four, because there's six of these, five and six. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. You can think about them kind of in triplets. So, or you can say one, two, three, four, five, six, straight across. But what I want to do is accent the downbeats of each of these little groupings. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's kind of felt more in two, because later on we will say, um, no, I'm not going to go that today. We'll just say this would be called one, beat one, this would be called beat two. But for right now, we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's if you have six straight eighth notes. Now, if we were to have... We start with our beginning three eighth notes, but we have a dotted quarter. That does fill up because remember we have the quarter, adding a dot adds another half value of that. So down here, the subdivision of this is still the, I know, so pretty. It's still the three eighth notes, but it's a dotted quarter. So right here we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the inverse of this, I'll just mark it below it, because why not? So pretty, I know. One, four, five, six. One, four, five, six. So let me write out a rhythm. Let's make this interesting. This will all be six, eight. We're really gonna dive more into six, eight next week. This is just a first kind of little guide you started on it. So I'm just gonna mark this in the corner. Six, eight. Let's have, these are all just eighth notes. I know they're so poorly drawn, I'm so sorry. We're gonna add in all of what we just learned. Going down. And then finally, 
Bam. So we are going to be using the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 structure. I'm going to go ahead and put on a metronome. By the way, helpful hint, if you don't have a med at home or a way to have one, you can always jump on Google, type in online metronome, and it's going to be there for you. Just put in what tempo you want. This is 125, and you are well on your way to practicing, which you should be doing. So, bend that down a little bit. We're going to count this. I'm going to actually let's turn this up a little bit. I'm going to count with you first. Just count it. Just counting. Tapping your foot. I'll act like this is my foot because I'm sitting on the ground. So each tick you hear is an eighth note. So this first measure would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Let's go through one, two, three, and measure four. Oh, let me add the little dots. Some of you might have been like, oh my gosh, Miss Julius, you didn't add the dots. I'm adding the dots right now. Those are all dotted quarters. Thank you, Samantha, in the back of the classroom for telling me that. All right, let's go through measure one, two, three, and four, just like that. And uh, I'll start you with six. One, two, three, four, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, four, five, six. One, four. And if you want to pulse it, that's great. Let's do this again. This time, clap and count with me. And one, two, three, four, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, four, five, six. One, four. Awesome. Go ahead, if you have your instrument on you, that'd be perfect to get that out. Uh, see if you can go ahead and play these. All six eight, remember that. Do not forget that because some of us will want to say one tay, two tay, three tay. Not what that is. Six eight. Get out your instrument. Let's have everyone on a concert F. Hopefully you're warmed up. If not, this should be interesting for everyone in your house. <laughs> Let me turn this met back on. And let's go ahead. I will clap and count. And you will play it. And if you don't have your instrument for some reason, seeing your most pretty concert F that you can. Make it so your neighbors can hear it. Alright. And same four measures. You're playing. One, two, three, four, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, four, five, six. One, four. Awesome job. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So go ahead uh, this week, look out for some more rhythm exercises on your Canvas account. Uh, you might see one like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And besides that, I'll see you next week for another video for a continuation of this. So I hope you have a good week. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye, guys.